I'm Avis Boone, and I'm here with Tova, with filmmaker Tova Beck Friedman, whose film Red Father was accepted into the Soho International Film Festival here in New York. Red Father will screen on Friday, May 16th at 5.30 p.m., and there will be a Q&A after the screening. So Tova, now Red Father, this is the first U.S. film festival for this film. I know you're excited about it, but what other feelings are, are you having um, in relation to your screening here? Well, this is the first time we are taking the finished film to, to the public. We had a, 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 a doc in progress screening in Maryland, which was very helpful. But now it's, we are taking it, uh, being tested on the public. I'm also very excited about the venue, which is, it has a his, history behind it, it used to be the Yiddish film, um, sorry, the Yiddish art um, theater. It, it used to be the Yiddish art theater and in the beginning of the 20th century. Oh. And that's very exciting. Oh. Well, now, how did you come to find out about Bernard Adis? I've known Janet, she's a friend, and her story is... Now, who is Janet? Janet Adis. Okay, uh, that's... Bernard Adis' mm -hmm. daughter. And her story is about her growing up in a socialist enclave in the Bronx were so fascinating to me. And I wanted to do a film about it. So I started interviewing her, and in the process of interviewing her, uh, we found that the real story lies with her father. Bernard Davis. Oh, and what inspired you about um, him um, that made you write this film? Well, uh, Bernard Davis was a communist Jewish lawyer that fought for civil rights in the 1930s at home. He later fought against fascism in Spain, only to be thwarted by McCarthyism and the blacklist. Mm -hmm when he mm. came back at home. And he, the fascination for me was the fact that he was a, an, a one person that really believed in a cause and fought for it and achieved something. Mm. Uh, we are always told that only one person cannot achieve anything. You know, you have to work in a group. You have to, you know, people have to come together and do something. And here is a person that fought against racism and achieved something meaningful. And one person. Yeah. Um, well, can you give us a brief synopsis of Red Father? Um, well, Red Father is the story, the life story of Bernard Adas, who was born in Maryland, the beginning of the, cent of the 20th century. And in the 1930s, worked as a lawyer for the Communist Party in defending African Americans in capital cases and defending them also against lynching. And his um, well-known case is the Huey Lee case in the Eastern Shore, Lower Eastern Shore of Maryland, where he defended uh, Mr. Lee that was accused of murdering a family of white family of four. And he was also, because um, I, I saw the film, and, and, and um, he was um, almost, he was, I guess, going to be disbarred for, for um, you know, in this case, for representing Mr. Lee in this case. And, and is it true that his um, disbarment was, um, you know, didn't happen because he was represented by Thurgood Marshall? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, he fought against the white judicial system in, in Maryland to change the, the law in Maryland to include African Americans on the jury. The jury has to be a jury of your peers. The defendant was African American, and therefore he proved that no African American was ever on a jury for the past 25 years. And he was instrumental in changing that law, which upset the, judi mm -hmm. the white judicial establishment, and they were after him and tried to disbar him, to mm -hmm. disbar him. Uh, and he was defended then by Thurgood Marshall. Um, that was also the first time that an African-American 
defended the Caucasian in the history of Maryland. Oh, okay. And um, that, in, that case, which is called uh, In Re Adas, was instrumental in changing the segregation law in Brown versus ed, uh, the Board of Education. Tova, why do you think that Red Father is, um, is so relevant today? What aspects of the film are very relevant today? The film is relevant today because the issues it raises are relevant, especially the civil rights issue, the fact that the Supreme Court recently uh, gutted the Voting Rights Act and the affirmative action really speaks to the need of continuing work and in, in the civil rights movement. And the other issue is the surveillance issues, which we are all very much privy to with the, the leak that Snowden did. Um, Bernard Adas was constantly under surveillance by the FBI, though those techniques seem harmless to, in today's world, but still the same idea, the idea remains. You can see and learn more about Red Father and Tova Beck Friedman at the Village East Cinema, the site of the Soho International Film Festival, on Friday, May 16th at 5.30 p.m.